Oh, yes, now we're moving on to the title of the video. Dawa, what is it good for? Or the thumbnail, if you saw the thumbnail I made, it's the Dawa Wars. Uh, apparently there's Dawa Wars going on at the moment. And I was told to watch this clip from the 1, th one hour 35 and 20 seconds, I believe. Yep, one thirty-five twenty. So, I've not seen this once again. I've just skipped forward to the point of the clip. And, uh, yeah, I'm interested. What's going on with the Dawa Wars? Right now, the LGBTQ mosques. Grifters all shilling for Islam now. Avalanche of Jizya. Yeah, it's uh, all the almost all the Dawa guys now <clears throat> are narcissists. I mean, like real narcissists, not just, oh, this guy's a little self-centered. I mean, actual, actual narcissists. Uh, what is this guy's angle, by the way? I think he's atheist. I've not seen any of his stuff before, but the face looks familiar. I think uh, his videos may have popped up and I just skim skipped over them. I didn't actually click on any of them. Uh, I'm guessing he's atheist. I could be completely wrong. Could be Christian, but um, he obviously he's not Muslim. But what's his angle? Because everyone's got an angle at some point. And the people, their famous reverts that are emerging are grifters and scam artists. So now at the, the people who are being propped up as far as who you see on social media, they're the Dawa guys who are a bunch of narcissists and they're famous reverts who are a bunch of con artists. Muslims of the world, that, there's no ill will in this. This is not going to go well for you. Uh, okay, cool. He's saying that the Dawa guys, the grifters, they're giving the rest of the Muslims a bad name. Okay, so he doesn't seem like he's got that much of an axe to grind. It doesn't look like he's trying to be fair and he's just giving everyone a heads up, which is good. Uh, New G says he's a Christian, Entity says Christian. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm looking at this thinking this is absolutely hilarious. I want more narcissists and I want... I want no, you don't want more narcissists. As a Christian, you don't want more narcissists. You want people to find the truth. But it's fine. I think I know where, what angle he's coming from. He's trying to say that it makes them look bad. But still, you just want people to grow regardless of faith. You don't want to say, oh, see, this is why you need to be Christian. Because then you're just pushing your brand of religion. Rather than pushing righteousness and trying to get people to be better. This is why I don't associate with a religion myself. Because... I'm just as susceptible as everyone else. I'm an idiot. Okay, I could fall under that trap of making the religion my identity and then telling people, listen, you need to come to my way or you're going to keep going down the bad way and you're not going to get to heaven and blah, blah, blah. No, forget that. Just focus on being good people. Focus on the righteous path. Their narcissism to be fueled because, I mean... I regard this as obvious. Some people have have uh, have difficulty thinking one or two moves in front of them. <clears throat> if the people now who are becoming the champions of Dawa in your community are narcissists, in other words, they cr they starve for attention and clicks and views and all that. They want the entire world, the entire Muslim world praising them. They want the attention for themselves. Every situation that arises, they view as a way to get more attention for themselves. They want more attention for themselves. So, oh, a, a war broke out. Ooh, I can put myself in this situation. It's going to be more attention for myself. Mm -hmm. Once you have those guys, just, just do some basic, basic math. Follow the trajectory. If the trajectory continues as it is, let's suppose you have five narcissists who are the big names in Dawa. Who's the young generation who's deciding what to do with their life. He's a bit entertaining to watch. I can see why. Is he a big guy? Has he got massive following? Let's have a look. Because he would fall underneath that same trap as well of becoming narcissistic. 186,000. Interesting. And 45k views on this live stream. Interesting. So it's possible he falls into this trap as well. But I guess he, he, he doesn't look like he's trying to sell anything at the moment. He just does look like he's doing a commentary thing, which isn't a bad thing. Commentary is a good way to reflect if you can't see the reflection yourself, if you can't look at yourself in the true light, 
it's good for having some kind of someone else be a mirror and kind of show you where your flaws are so you can be better but like i say i hope it's to encourage them to be better rather than them to continue with their narcissism and then everyone just leaves islam but we'll see we'll see we'll keep it going guys in dawa people who are drawn to dawa what are they going to do these are their role models who's going to be going after this budding narcissists and what, what, what happens when you have 10, 20, 30 Dawa guys, they're all complete narcissists who are in it for attention. Are those guys going to want to share the spotlight with other Dawa guys? Okay, cool. That's where the Dawa Wars comes in. Okay. Everyone just wants a spotlight. Okay. Um, see, I, I think he might be a little bit wrong here. I think he might be wrong. See, for them, yeah, maybe there's a little bit of narcissism to it. But for them, the narcissism falls on the identity of Islam, not on their personal identity. It's the identity of Islam. So I think they won't actually go into a Dawah war if everyone is just pushing the same identity, which is the same version of Islam. It's not Sunni and Shia, it's just all Sunni. And as long as everyone's just pushing that same thing, pushing that same thing, I think they don't, they won't really fight with each other. And they won't really try and vie for top position because to them, Islam is spreading at that point because more people are tuning in for all this stuff. So I think, I, I, I don't know, I think he's giving them maybe more ego than they actually have. I think it's more about just pushing the religion, which I think is just as bad uh, because it's uh, identity religion. But yeah, I don't think there will be Dawa wars. No, each one of them is a narcissist. He's going to want all the attention for himself. And that inevitably leads to conflict. All those Dawa guys who are narcissists are going to start attacking all the other Dawa guys who are narcissists because each one of them wants all the attention for himself. And that we've already seen it. We've already seen it starting. We call it the Dawa Wars. But the Dawa War, the Dawa Wars are just getting started. The Dawa Wars are okay. So it's apparently already started. Okay, interesting. I'd like to see the footage if he's got any. Well, if you guys uh, know, EF Dawa has thrown Hamza under the bus. Steve, could you link me the video in uh, the Discord, please? I'd like to have a look at that. Pretty please and thanks. We're just getting started. You've got all these complete grifters and scam artists becoming your new famous reverts that is not going to last guys you are you are completely set up for a collapse here i'm telling you as a critic but an honest critic i find this absolutely hilarious i don't see what you can possibly do about it but i'm still honest enough with you because you are human beings and i want i want the best for you okay respect 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 okay i'm liking this guy a lot he isn't just just doing this as a way to poke fun or whatever. He's actually hoping that they grow from it, which is good, which is admirable. Re respect to this guy. Who is this guy? Uh, what's his name? It was. Oh, is this his channel? Apologics. Oh, no, it's Sean King. Yeah, Sean King. Talcum X. <laughs> That's funny. Talcum X. <laughs> Okay, I, I can respect this guy. I can respect that. I'd love to see the beginning of the Dawa Wars. You know, I missed the prequel. So if anyone can hook up a link, please do. Um, but I also believe that what's best for you is for your religion to collapse. But I mean, I'll sit here and tell you what is obvious. Because it's important to note, it's, it's, it's important for people to realize what happens in these situations. Because it's, it's, it's happening everywhere. It's not just happening in Islam. That's going to happen everywhere. Mm. The same thing's going to happen everywhere. And is it also going to happen in Christianity? Because I think it's already happened in Christianity where you've got all these um, preachers, all these pastors and stuff from these different denominations, the evangelists, all these different versions of Christianity running rampant. And they're all vying for having the biggest flock, the biggest uh, donations for their church. You know, this grift hasn't just started with Islam. It's been going on for a while. So, which version of Christianity is this guy? Or does he just do his own thing? I'll be interested to know. The best way to not be 
manipulated is not to expose the manipulator or to convince the manipulator that he shouldn't be manipulating people. The best way to stop a manipulator is to be what's called a hard target. You don't fall for the manipulation. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I want Muslims to not fall for manipulation. I think that's good for you. And so when I see what's going to happen and how you're going to be manipulated and how you, you, you're ending up with all these narcissists and grifters taking over your community, I'll tell you, because at the end of the day, I want you to be the sort of person who doesn't fall for this nonsense. Respect. I like this guy. I like this guy. I'm going to have to watch more of his videos online. This is uh, a good place to come from. A good place to come from. Uh, CC says it's just a few mentioners here and there. I can't find the videos. This is David Wood. Oh, David Wood. Okay. I thought it was Sean King. Okay, so I oh, know that must have been the guy in the video he's reacting to. Cool. David Wood. He has teamed up with the apostate prophet. Inter prophet. Interesting. Interesting. I'll have to have a look at... Uh, I, know, I watched the apostate prophet in the last video. Uh, he seemed to be coming from a very... Uh, let me just do this because... Yeah. He seemed to be coming from a very logical perspective and he was using the scripture. He wasn't trying to do an emotional attack at anyone. He wasn't trying to shame anyone he was just saying look this these are the facts and this is the way that the book actually says what they should be doing yada 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 but that's not the narrative they like to push so i liked his angle i do want to watch a few more of his videos too well, we'll watch them together we'll watch them together okay interesting i like these two so far is apostate uh what was it uh apostate prophet christian now as well or is he just doing his own thing as a non-religious person Oh, there we go. Thank you, Steve. See, you read my mind. Apostate Prophet is an atheist. Cool. Cool. So, that's interesting, because is he just targeting Islam? Because yesterday, when we had a look at his... Oh, not yesterday, day before. When we had a look at his channel, most of the videos were actually targeting Islam. Does he actually give a fair shake to everyone in regards to his atheist belief and then coming at everyone the same? Or is he just focusing on the Muslims? Because he has an axe, axe to grind or because uh, he used to be a Muslim and maybe that's because he's got the most knowledge about Islam. That's why he's focusing on that. Maybe maybe that, you know? Maybe it's not an axe to grind. Maybe it's just because it's uh, what he knows. Interesting. Interesting. But that's all I can do is warn you. And that, well, that's not all I can do. Right now, all I can do is warn you. And then a few years from now, when you see it all happen, then I can then I can come back and say, I told you so. Uh, 